everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and you're watching Poland's vanity cream and for our today's video we're going to have a wear test and a review of the newest edition of the brand all covered by Anna Kai and yes you heard it right we're going to review this powder sunscreen with SPF 50 PA plus plus Plus, if you want to know more about this product, just stay tuned on my channel. But before that, please give me some loving by liking this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell below so that you'll be notified on my next video. So without much further ado, let's get started. Last two months of release, si all covered ng tinted sunscreen. And now, ngayon, pinartin na naman niya ng um, powder sunscreen. Ngayon, wala akong makeup. We will be doing our makeup today. Pero ngayon, kasi, gagawin natin is maglalagay tayo ng base na foundation. Pero hindi yung tinted sunscreen. Kasi alam mo naman, madami na nag-review about the tinted sunscreen. Tapos, ito yung... Uh, powder sunscreen. So, I wanted to know kung ano ba ang magiging effect niya if sa ibang um, base naman na gagamitin natin and foundation. Let me share it with you on this video. But before that, may ginawa akong wear test of the um, pow powder sunscreen. Concealer lang yung nilagay ko na base. And ito lang yung tinest ko all throughout the day. So, insert ko na lang yung mga clips here. <laughs> So, nagbubuo-buo siya, guys. Ito kasi, ang nilagay ko lang dito is yung ito, itong balm ng Happy Skin na Cooling Color Adapt. Yan. So, dahil wala tayong gel powder, siya agad. Yung powder, ni all covered. Yan. May kita mo, nag-accentuate yung powder and nagbubuo-buo siya. So, I think we have to use powder din. Yan. Nagwamit na ako ng powder Blushy, which is itong Macna Rosy Out. No? And yeah, maganda siya. Yan. So, powder to powder tayo. So, if you're, if you're using the oil covered by Anna Kai, powder to powder. Yan. Time check lang tayo dito sa all covered na powder sunscreen ni Anna Kai and ito na yung itsura ng face ko. Again, this is powder alone. And as you can see, dahil lagi ako nakamask, hindi siya mask proof. Kasi hindi naman nila kina-claim na mask proof to. Yan. Sobrang daming transfer. Yun lang yung medyo downside nito. Especially pag white, di ba? the transfer to the transfer shot. On my observation, my face, nawala na yung mga dito yun. So, I think talaga kailangan mag-retouch tayo ng powder. Pero actually, nag-ice na rin ako ng something dito sa bahay. And, ang dami ko na rin na pangitahan yung araw na to. Simula 9 o'clock, ngayon is nasa 5 na guys. So, ganun katagal din yung foundation. Pero, Maganda siya, pero yun nga, nagsisettle lang siya dito, yan, nagsisettle, tapos, ano ba, yun nga, nagbubuo-buo kapag nauna yung powder, tapos yung nagyan mo ng liquid. Pero kasi yung iba kasing powder, pwede mo pang malagyan ng liquid something, pero ito, pag pinatungan mo siya, yun, nagbubuo-buo siya guys. So yun, so, I'll just uh, give you my final thoughts on this later guys. See you again guys, wait lang. So anyway, so... Let's do our makeup today. Since wala tayong makeup, makeup guys, hindi nga may eye bags ko, diba? So, baba, yan. So, so, ito hindi na natin i-wear test, guys. I will give you my final thoughts at the end of this video. Ito na skincare before I do this. So, ngayon, ilalagay na lang muna natin is, pagkakaya guys, na walang sunscreen pa na SPF uh, 50 din. Itong happy skin kasi na to is like a sun gel primer as well. 
So, maganda siyang gamitin na primer if you are going to um, have your makeup. Okay, so my sunscreen is okay now. Usually, yung una ko tayong ginagawa is ilalagay ako ng concealer. Yan. So, I'm using the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Cream Concealer. Tapos, in-mix up ko siya ng Jeffree Star. Kasi ito, medyo dark ng konti sa akin. Jeffree Star naman, sobrang light sa akin. Perfect combi lang sila if put together. Pakitignan okay, naman na medyo dark ito sa akin. And then, we're going to put this Jeffree Star na... C10. Sobrang ano nito. Puti naman nito sa akin. Kasi parang ano siya neutral undertone. Eh since warm tie guys. And we're going to blend this using our uh, foundation brush. So, anyway, that's our first step. And then, ang gagamitin natin foundation, we'll be using this um, Makeup Forever Reboot. This is one of my favorite um, foundation. So, maglalagay lang ko dito like what Kathleen Lights do. Dahil this one, Kathleen Lights made me buy this. So, maglalagay lang tayo dito. Siguro... 3 pump lang. Actually, ang maganda dito sa Makeup Forever na foundation is meron siya kasamang skincare. Ngayon, I, I think may hyaluronic acid din siya kasama. Since tapos na yung base natin, guys, eto na yung ating base. Yan. So, ilapit ko kayo sa face ko. Hindi sobrang perfect yung face ko na sobrang wala talagang um, rough uh, texture in face. Actually, dito yan. Yan, dito. Usually, dun sa video na nakita nyo, dito na mumuo talaga yung powder sa face ko. Yan. So, ngayon, itatry na natin si um, powder sunscreen. And, ang maganda dito is, hindi na babaksak yung puff. ba? So, walang tendency para kumalat siya. So, ang gagawin natin, since meron na tayo sa ating um, puff, what I do, lagi like, spread out lang natin siya. Dito lang guys, pakipapansin nyo, sobrang hirap niyang i-tap kasi nga nagbubuo-buo siya ng ganyan. So, what I do, konting tap, pero pinupul ko ng konti. Ganyan guys. Hindi ko siya dinadrag na ganyan. Yeah. So, ganyan lang siya other side. Yan. By the way, I have a combination skin. A normal to dry skin. So, ngayong mga panahon to, I think medyo dry ang skin ko, guys. Uh, hanggang mga kuha natin yung finish na gusto natin. Little darker daw to versus the light ng tinted sunscreen. Yan. So, I think that's about it. Yan. So, sobrang konti lang yung nilagay ko, guys. So, ito lang din yung medyo um, tricky na part dito sa tinted sunscreen na to. Kasi, how can you be sure na talagang protected ka ng SPF 50 if konti lang yung lalagay mo? Because a little goes a long way talaga for this powder sunscreen. So, I think ito na yung finish ng ating base ngayon. So, papakita ko sa inyo yung aking uh, face right now. Ito nyo guys na, ito, ayan. So, parang nag nag-accentuate lalo yung dryness ng face ko using the powder. And pag pinulo mo, ayan, hindi ko alam kung nakikita ng camera, pero dito sa akin, nakikita ko na nag-accentuate yung aking dryness ng face ko. And this one guys, ayan, Makikita nyo na nag-accentuate yung roughness ng skin. Ayan, because dry nga ako right now. And also on this part of my face. I will give my final thoughts. In a while guys, tapusin ko lang yung makeup ko so I can share with you the pros and cons of this um, powder sunscreen. So I'll be right. Anyway guys, so here is my final look using the 
powder, sunscreen of all covered. So before I give my final thoughts, syempre, isisain muna natin yung pinaka-packaging nitong powder sunscreen and the claims, yung mga pros and cons na ma-share ko sa inyo um, based on my experience of this product. Yeah. So ito yung kanyang um, packaging. Yan, guys. So, same packaging lang din sila ni Tinted Sunscreen, guys. Hindi naman nagbago ng packaging si Anna Kai in, in, when it comes to the powder sunscreen. Siya, I know naman that Anna Kai wanted to have consistency on her product na nilalaunch niya para magkaroon siya ng branding of her own. Yan. So, pag nakita niyo na dilaw and then white, so, ibig sabihin, that's Anna Kai's product. That's Anna Kai's branding. So, dito lang naman nakalagay is powder sunscreen light as SPF 50 plus plus made in Korea 15 grams and by the way um, in my experience sa mga powder uh, mga powder na mga setting powder ang pinakamarami na na-try ko is the Coty Airspan. So, I remember na si Anna Kai is very fan din ng Coty Airspan. So, maybe one of her um, inspiration in terms to the grams of her product siguro nang galing din kay Coty Airspan. Yeah. So, yun lang yung nakalagay dyan sa harap and then sa likod and sa gilid wala. And then sa likod nandito na yung mga details sa pwede nyo malaman about the powder sunscreen. So, nandiyan yung how to use, the caution, and the ingredients is included here, guys. Yeah. Eh, lagi naman naglalagay si All Covered ng expiration date so that we'll be aware kung kaya mag expire yung product na nabili natin. Dito sa ilalim, no kanyang packaging, nakalagay doon yung kanyang expiration. And this is uh, good for 2 years, guys. So, 2023, yung ma-expire yung powder. So, I think, parang gagamit mo na din siya until 2023. Dahil nga, a little, a little goes a long way. So, mamaya, share ko yun sa inyo. Yeah. So, when you open the box, makikita nyo na yung pinaka-product niya. This is what it looks like. And, it's very straightforward pa din, guys. Yung kanyang um, packaging dun sa miss mong lalagyan na ng product. Sobrang nagustuhan ko yung packaging na to because sobrang linis, ba? Just like what I've uh, shared with you guys the last time na review ko yung tigat sa screen ni Anna Kai. Sobrang linis no kanyang um, packaging. Same as kung ano makikita nyo sa box, yun din yung makikita nyo sa pinaka-product sa loob. Ganon din sa likod. Kung ano yung nakalagay dito, same lang sila guys. Yung kanyang expiration lang dito sa pinaka lalag, lag, lalagyanan niya is wala lang guys. Lagyan na lang natin ng something para we, you'll be reminded na kung kailan yung expiration ng product na to. Yeah. So when open, yeah, so may makikita ka na puff dito guys. And nabanggit ka ni Anna kayo na pag binaba mo to, hindi siya mauhulog. Which is totoo nga, no? Boy! In fairness, hindi siya nahuhulo, guys. Wow, I'm impressed. Yeah. So, kapag kinuha natin yung puff, actually yung puff, pag pinil mo pa lang, guys, sobrang lambot niya na, guys. Cushion niya siya. And we pull this out. Siyempre, mapupull na natin yung kanyang, um, yung kanyang puff. And what I really love about this puff, guys, actually it reminded me some something na parang pang baby, yung pang pulbo sa likod. Ganon. Ganon siya. Medyo makapal yung kanyang puff as you can see guys. Yan. So, dahil nagamit ko na siya because I wanted to test this out agad-agad and using this alone, kaya yan, ganyan na siya guys. In terms of consistency of the of the powder, maglagay tayo dito guys. Actually, hindi ko pa siya na-feel with my hand. Pero sa feel ko, nung, nung lagay ko siya sa face ko, medyo makapal yung texture niya, guys. Compare sa mga, compare sa mga na-try ko na um, setting powder. Yan. So, i-feel na natin siya. Yan. So, makikita nyo, guys, talagang may pagka-something siya na buo-buo. I hope that you can see yan. So, pag dinip mo yung kamay mo dun sa powder, parang buo-buo siya. Alam yung texture ng harina. Ganun yung texture niya. So, yun. So, pag dinip mo yung kamay mo dun, so, parang magbubuo-buo siya. Yan. And makikita nyo, guys, ganun din siya dito. Ayan. Ito yung, din, ito yung diniinan ko, guys. So, makikita nyo na talagang parang 
Bakit? Parang pwede mo siyang gawing pressed powder. <laughs> Alam niyo yun, guys? Feel natin, guys. Yan. Pero when felt naman, guys, sobra lambot naman niya. Um, silky yung kanyang texture. So, kung maglalagay kayo dito, guys, so make sure na, na malinis siya kasi nga. Transfer lang siya dun sa ibabaw ng puff. Pero I believe the puff, washable naman yung mga ganyang puff, guys. So, ang claims niya dun sa in-announce ni Anna Kai uh, past few days ago about the launch of this pa uh, powder sunscreen, guys. It is made in Korea. Alam naman natin that even the tinted sunscreen is made in Korea. And three shades yung available sa tinted sunscreen. Three shades din yung available dito sa powder sunscreen niya. So light, medium, and deep yung available shades. Kung hindi nyo pa alam, or hindi pa kayo familiar sa tinted sunscreen. So this shades is very suitable to, oh, to pinice. Yan. So, and napensin ko sa kanya, the undertone is warm. So, this is SPF 50 PA++++ with sun test proof from the lab in Korea. Make sure naman na anak na pumasa sa um, sun test itong kanyang outer sunscreen just like the tinted sunscreen. This is FDA approved per shade according to her. So, you don't have to worry about this product kasi nga FDA approved naman siya. Yan. So, according to her, no white cast, no gray finish or ashy finish. But, syempre, since this is a tinted sunscreen, siyang flash back. Kasi nga, it, yung, nag, yung nagkakos ng flash back is the high SPF when used with a camera flash. Pero ngayon kasi, hindi na tayo high-tech na yung mga telepono natin, guys. ba? nag adapt na yung telepono natin kapag madilim. Siya na po siya nag adjust na medyo bigyan tayo ng liwanag kaya hindi tayo gumamit ng flash. So, yung puff nga kanina na na-share ko sa inyo, it um, is nagiging stopper siya. So, may tendency nga na hindi kumalat yung product sa loob kasi nga yung, yung puff ang nagsisibing stopper. So, kahit nasa bag nyo siya, at mag-toss-toss siya dyan, hindi siya kalat yung pow powder sa loob because of the puff. Share to medium coverage, and this is cruelty-free. Yeah. So, now I will give you my final thoughts on using this um, powder sunscreen. I believe this powder sunscreen is very suitable to oily skin, guys. As you can see naman dun sa face ko kanina, diba? It lingers talaga dun sa aking mga dry areas, dry spots on my face. Kasi nga, yung consistency ng powder niya is medyo makapal compared to ibang setting powder na, na try ko, guys. But, si Anna kayo naman, hindi niya naman kiniklaim na this is a use as a setting powder. So, sinasabi naman niya is preferred naman natin if we're go to with the tinted sunscreen or with the powder sunscreen. Well, kasi nga naman, may lazy days naman talaga tayo, guys. Diba? Minsan tinatamad ako maglagay ng liquid foundation or ng tinted sunscreen. So, kung, kung lalabas na ako mabilisan, siguro, I'll choose the easiest one to apply, which is the the powder, yun. Actually, mas na-appreciate ko siya when used alone without the foundation as a base. Kasi nga nakita ko na mas nag-accentuate talaga yung dry skin ko. But when used alone, guys, parang plakado or mas parang smoother yung uh, texture ng skin ko kapag yun lang yung gagamitin ko. Well, I suggest na pwedeng-pwede nyo naman gamitin talaga ito at Na, na ito lang guys kasi nga the coverage is really something na parang talaga may nilagay ka na ano eh powder foundation, ganun talaga yung level niya sa akin guys mas meron siyang blurring effect sa skin ko, so I'm talking about my skin guys sa combination normal to dry skin so ang napansin ko pa sa kanya is kapag nalagay mo na siya sa face mo whether alone or with the foundation guys hindi mo na siya pwedeng gamitan ng any liquid form of makeup like the cream blush on ano ba yung ginamit ko kanina is the adapt stick yan so diba mahirap na siyang gamitin and talagang pachi pachi siya pag gagamit ka ng liquid form of makeup 
on top of this powder sunscreen. Ayan. Um, reminder lang ako, especially sarili ko na maglalagay muna ako ng cream blush on or ng tinted blush on before ko i-apply itong sunscreen na to dahil baka mahirapan lang ako. But, ang maganda naman nito guys, when you use all the powder guys, powder form of makeup, mas nagbe-blend yung sunscreen or yung powder sunscreen sa face nyo. Okay, ko sa inyo yung sinasabi ko. Yan, di ba kanina kasi, di ba meron na accentuate na dry, na dry patch dito sa area na to and dito sa area na to guys. But when I used a powder blush on and a uh, bronzer guys yan nag blend out siya ng maigi and mas naging smoother yung canvas iyon yung sinasabi ko guys yan so best na talaga naman in any powder form kasi meron din ako na experience na when i use a powder guys even if napatuon ko ng cream or something liquid na makeup it still works pero dito guys mas nagmo-work siya if powder to powder. Isa ang con na nakikita ko dito, yun nga lang, walang sifter. So, I preferred kasi na parang may sifter siya para medyo kontrolado mo yung labas ng product dito. Pero nga, may, tin may tinurong isang hack si Anakai na parang kapag kapag kakakuha mo pa lang, di ba meron nga siyang sticker, um, i-cutter nyo yung sticker para half lang yung mabuksan nyo na mga, ano tawag dito, na mga hole so, para mas controlled nyo yung labas ng product. So, overall naman, guys, maganda naman yung product na to because, number one, it has SPF 50. By the way, the price of this is 488 pesos. Not bad for a 15 grams of powder, guys. Kasi sobrang mura nyo na talaga compared nyo dun sa ibang available, yung ibang 7 grams. Like, yung, uh, yung Happy Skin 7 grams siya, pero parang nasa around 800, 799 pesos siya. So, I think so, worth naman yung money nyo when you buy this. And I believe na yun naman talaga yung advocacy ni Anna kayo na within reach naman talaga yung mga brands niya or mga products niya for us. And ang masasabi ko lang guys, you should try this guys. And mas na-enjoy ko siya alo. Kasi kapag meron nga akong work from home, before ako mag-start ng mga meetings or, or work ko naglalagay ako nito. Kasi nga kailangan natin ng protection even na sa house ng tayo because of the lights na binibigay sa bahay, ba? Meron pa ding harmful lights yan guys. Yun. So anyway, let me know your thoughts below. If you already tried this uh, powder sunscreen, yeah, share yun naman sa akin kung ano yung mga discoveries to this. So that's about it, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, just give me some loving by liking this video. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell below so that you'll be notified on my next video. I'll see you on my next. Bye! Oh, I'm not sure